today happy saturday guys welcome back to the channel if you're new here my name is sydney this is sydney alicia and on this series i just take you guys along with me on my journey to getting a new job here in the air force i've been active duty for a little over four years now and i decided i wanted to go back to school and change my job in the air force so that's what i'm doing and i'm just vlogging my experience out here so i'm about to actually head out the door and go and get a little bit of shopping done do i need anything no i probably won't pick up much We'll see. I just kind of want to get out and see what's in stores. So I'm planning on going to Target, potentially popping into Ulta, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, and Michaels maybe or Joann's because I kind of want to do this DIY project and I'll share that project with you guys if I actually decide to do it. But before I head out the door, let me show you guys my outfit. Performance. Before I show you my outfit, I did my hair and I really love these little clips that I put in my hair. I don't remember where I got them from. They're so old. I also have the same pair in yellow, like a yellow pair, which is super cute. So I just did a half up, half down bun and I put a little light curl in the back of my hair. And today I'm just wearing this cute little top that I got from Express and it just has a nice watercolor floral pattern on here. And then I'm just wearing my go-to pants like these are just like little not khaki pants but i don't know how to describe them just little throw on pants i love the color of them i actually thrifted them but the brand on these is the gap i think and then lastly i'm gonna be wearing my flats my little slides from target from the a new day brand wear these all the time they just go with a lot of my outfits like the color waves that i wear so this is the outfit for today and i'm carrying my go-to bag my kate spade bag and that's pretty much it. So I'm about to head out the door. I'm warming up a Hot Pocket because, not a Hot Pocket, a Pop-Tart because my stomach's actually growling. So I'm just gonna warm that up and we'll get on our way. All right, peeps, I'm in the car. I had to put a jacket on, it's cold out here. Like, it's 70 degrees, but it's, it's windy. So it makes it cold. Oh my goodness, all right. Cause girls is players too. That line in there was so long. I've been in line for about 20 minutes. It was so long. It was crazy. But I'll show you guys really quickly what I picked up. So let's do a quick car haul. Because I only picked up a few things. I picked up some um, little razors so that I can clean up my brows because honestly like getting your brows done i love that for me but it's just not in the budget sometimes so i wanted to pick these razors up and then i also picked up a pair of shorts um i think i recorded myself trying them on i don't know but they're really cute they're just a nice neutral pair of shorts that pretty much go with everything in my wardrobe they were $16.99 also picked up this powder it's a sheer it's in the color sheer deep and it's a loose setting powder and it's from the brand jacqueline jacqueline cosmetics um, I used to watch her on YouTube if this is who I think it is and I saw it in the store and I was like oh I've never seen her products before so I just picked it up and it looks like it's my shade and I'm actually running out of my loose powder from Laura Mercier so I was like you know what let's pick it up because you know what it was on clearance it was only three bucks so I was like why not right and then lastly I picked up a sphere to show you guys what this looks like it's so cool it's so heavy though so i'm gonna try and pick it up and it was 29.99 and this is what it looks like it's gorgeous can you guys see that sorry it's really bright out here right now but this is what the sphere looks like it sits like this it's really really pretty um i don't know what material this is made out of i'm trying to let me see if i can yeah, I have no idea what this material is made out of. I think it's marble. It's really nice. Really, really pretty. I love the color tone. I was also going to pick up 
the AD book, you know, the Architectural Digest book. I saw that in there and I was gonna pick it up, but I was like, oh, I didn't come in here for this. Granted, I ain't coming here for really anything in particular, but I was like, I don't need it right now. But I really do want it for the house because I do want to add more warm, neutral tones. Like, granted, I'll never steer away from my black and white house theme. Like, I love the black and white or the black and cream, black and ivory. But I like adding warmer tones of, like, brown, creamy neutrals. So I was like, oh, that book is super cute to just tie the colors in because it's black, white, and that creamy neutral. But, again, like, I just, like, ah, don't need it right now. So I'm just going to come back next weekend. And if it's here next weekend, then that's it was meant for me to get it. If it's not here, that means it wasn't meant for me to get it. You know, I'm going to just tell myself that. And then I also saw these super cute bridesmaid clips in there. And y'all will be so proud of me because I didn't buy them, as you can see. I did not buy them. I didn't buy anything for my bridesmaids or anything um, for anyone other than myself this time around. And I'm really proud of myself. And Leland actually had to talk me out of it because I was going to buy them. I'm not going to sit over here and act like I wasn't. I was going to buy them. And then he was like, no, no, Sydney. So I didn't buy them. But they're so cute, right? There was also this super cute basket in there that I wanted to pick up. So there's a few things that I want to see if it's going to be here next weekend when I come back. Um, and if not, again, like, that's fine. Anyway, alright, so I'm about to head back, like I said, to my room and chill out. I was going to pop into the Michaels right here, but my feet hurt, y'all. My feet hurt. I used all my feet energy in Home Goods. So, and I actually am excited, though, because I got all of my siblings to turn in their money because I want to do like a group Mother's Day gift this year for my mom. So I'll definitely um, talk you guys through my plans for Mother's Day this year because I'm going to be the one like coordinating everything. It's just that I finally got the last, I, I got my brother, my big brother and my other little sister. She turned in, they turned in their money today. So now I can actually move forward with the plans. I also just got from my mom too. I had to confirm the dates that she would be available she knows she's going like what i'm planning on doing for mother's day is i'm gonna um well we're gonna pay for my mom to go on a trip she knows she's going on a trip but she doesn't know like all the details of the trip so that's gonna be her mother's day gift and her trip is in july but i needed to know exactly so because my mom all right let me talk to you guys i'll talk to you guys more about my plans for my mom and stuff when I get back to my room because I don't want my phone to, I mean, I don't want my camera to fall off my Okay, peeps, so I'm back in my room. I want to show you guys my little sphere thing now that it's not super bright. But this is what it looks like. It's so beautiful. Like, hold on, the camera's struggling. There we go. This is what the sphere actually looks like. I know in the car it wasn't the best lighting, but this is what it looks like. It's really heavy, so I gotta put that down. But I'm really excited to have that. And like I said, I'm gonna go back next week and hopefully that A and B book is still there. If not, then boo-hoo me, boo-hoo. I need to seriously start packing. Like, I keep saying I'm gonna start packing, but I promise you this weekend, I'm gonna start packing either tonight or tomorrow and i do want to go through the clothes that i have out here and get rid of some of them like either sell them like to play with closet or to um what's the other one buffalo exchange while before i leave just to make my packing lighter but i want to see what this powder is hitting on i mean it looks nice i don't know i've never again tried any of her cosmetics but this is what the packaging looks like and again it's in the shade share deep so they had another shade there a darker shade and i was like oh i should get that for my sister but then i was like no sydney stop buying stuff for other people just get what you want and get out so yeah and then again these are the shorts super cute shorts i love these i know i'm gonna be wearing the heck out of these in the summer like these are gonna be my go-to shorts i already know i can already see it in my future but yeah so before so before I settle in and eat, I want to go ahead and talk to you guys a little bit about our Mother's Day plans for my mom. Because my mom does not watch my channel at all. So I don't have to worry about 
her seeing anything. So our plan for Mother's Day right now is to send her to Niagara Falls. We're gonna be paying, and when I say we, me and my siblings, we're gonna be paying for her hotel and we wanna pay for two experiences out there. So far, we have this one experience that I found and it's like a cave tour. And I thought that was really, really cool. So hold on, let me show you guys really quick what that looks like, the cave tour. Yeah, it's called Lockport Cave. And it's like an underground boat ride. And I thought it was really cool. So this is what it looks like, the underground part. And I know my mom would be into something like this. Like she's really into like adventuring and seeing new things and exploring new things. So I was like, oh, let's do that. So I'm going to buy the ticket. I'm going to reserve the tour for the day and time. And then I also, because they have two, they have the evening lantern tour. And then he had the historic cave tour and underground boat ride. So I'm going to do that for her. The other thing that I wanted to do for her was a helicopter tour. The only thing that I'm hesitating about this is because my mom barely likes plane rides. Like she doesn't really like getting on planes. So putting her on a helicopter may be a little intense um, for her. So I'm thinking not doing that anymore. So I have to find something to replace what we were going to do, which was the helicopter ride. So I don't know. Um what other excursion to do and obviously I'm not familiar with Niagara Falls so I don't know part of me is like should I just go ahead and put some money in a card for her like let's say book the hotel do the underground boat ride and then just give her some money and that'll be more than enough because then she'll have money for the trip and she doesn't have to like pay for anything necessarily so let me go ahead and see how much the hotel is going to cost because she's going to be staying two nights at the hotel and i can show you guys the hotel really quick i found it on expedia yeah i found this hotel on expedia and the name of the hotel is it's loading victoria hotel and suites so because my mom doesn't have her passport, everything that we're doing, um, planning for her for Niagara Falls has to be on the US side because again, she doesn't have her passport. So I'm about to go ahead and book her room for the dates that we specified. And for the hotel, it came out to $429.20 for the hotel. So then for the cave tour, she would be going, I'd probably buy her tickets for that Friday. If she's coming in on Thursday, buy the tickets for Friday. And then do, cause I'm trying to figure out if my sisters are also going, because if they're going too, I would have to buy their tickets so they can get in as well, obviously. So I need to call my sisters real quick in the group chat. Cello. Quick question, are you both planning on going with mom or just sent yes, Shanna? Ma okay, so I need to so we need to get three tickets for the cave tour so all three of y'all can get in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh and then I'm thinking of scheduling it for 12 p.m. Okay. Was there anything else that you were thinking? Because what I also was thinking was like putting like a hundred dollars in her card with like all the printouts of like the reservations and everything and i have her card here that's cute yeah it's like a little 3d card i got it from home goods i still got it in the plastic so i don't like mess it up but um yeah so like doing a hundred dollars in her card hundred dollars okay. in card and then was there anything else that you think you're thinking that she would want to do out there? Like, obviously, like, um, we could even do like a dinner reservation. Like, we could make dinner reservations and I could find a good restaurant around like the hotel. You guys can go there. Um, yeah, definitely that. Uh, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is the way, same way I did my um, wedding weekend, I'm gonna make a whole little itinerary for her Mother's Day weekend and print that out. And just have it like really cute how she can follow along with the plans. But still leave like I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave Thursday open for her to. Do, no, sorry. I'm going to leave Thursday and then that night will be dinner. And then Friday afternoon would be that tour. And that's an hour and a half tour. So then after that, y'all can go do whatever you want. And then she plans on coming back Saturday morning. Okay. 
so i could probably i'll probably make a dinner reservation for friday too um so that she don't have to find a restaurant or whatever scenic trolley oh this is cool it's a little trolley you can get bored this environmentally friendly trolley you can enjoy a three mile 30 minute guided overview of the park or disembark at various stops and explore the park's many attractions um all right so this is what i'm thinking so we're gonna do the hotel obviously and then the cave tour then we're gonna do the cave of the winds and then we're gonna put two hundred dollars in the card and that should have she'll have, then she'll have money to pay for her dinner for both dinner reservations mm -hmm. okay all right so i'm gonna put this all together reserve everything um do you guys have any um preference in terms of food so is there any particular type of food you want like italian you want american um good afternoon peace happy sunday i am up it is like 11 i don't even think it's afternoon yet let me see Time is it? It's 11.07, so good morning. Um, I just got out of bed because I decided I wanted to be lazy and lay in bed for a while, which is valid because I'm always on the move. But last night, I actually didn't pick up the camera, but I started packing all of my stuff. So I just have bags everywhere. Um, first and foremost, I have my shoes. I emptied the closet. All that I have left in my closet are a few things but I need to pull all this out, which I'm about to do right now because I was just hanging it to dry because yesterday I did my laundry. So I have all these bags of all like the little shopping bits and bobs I've been getting since I've been out here since January. A lot of wedding stuff in there too. And then this bag is completely packed. I am going to try, ooh, I don't know, because I was going to try and squeeze those three tops right there into this bag. I packed up all my purses and everything. So, and I started actually also packing up some of my kitchen stuff, but everything in here is going to go into this bag and I'm going to just start living out of this bag. Um, backpack is packed. This bag right here is packed as well. And I just split up everything into individual bags because I emptied the bathroom last night too. So under here, if you've been watching, you know, this used to be packed. So I definitely emptied this out and I put it all into those different separate plastic bags. And then I also emptied these drawers and I just kept out the few things that I'm going to need for the next two weeks. Because I only have two weeks left here. So I'm starting to just like wind down on everything that I have. And then I just cleared out my perfumes up there, put them all in here. So yeah, I did a bunch of packing yesterday. I just didn't feel like recording. Um, in terms of my drawers, empty those out too. It doesn't look empty, but I literally just have undergarments. I have um, one bra, some socks, my sticky bra, and then I just have a pair of shorts. And then the other pair of shorts I'm wearing right now, a pair of jeans, some sports bras, two sports bras, two workout outfits, and literally four tops. I'm wearing one of the four tops. So that's everything that I have unpacked. My other drawer is completely empty. That one is empty too. So yeah. And then this bag right here, I'm going to Play-Doh's closet it today i think i mentioned that yesterday that i plan on going to play those closet today so i went through my clothes yesterday and i pulled out what i plan on selling today but can you tell i'm ready to go i'm packed okay i might also pop in the target because yesterday i ended up accidentally drying the top that i just bought from target and can you see that it like got stuck to my uniform velcro so it's like super fuzzy and it's just I, basically i destroyed this top so i need to go buy another one so i'll probably do that today because i don't buy all my books for class i also need to return some of the books that i rented from chegg so i have this book right here that i need to return and then i also have this book right here that i need to return and i do have the chegg box in my uh what's it called again trunk jeez my car trunk i have the check box so i'm about to just log in the check and get the return label oh okay i purchased i didn't know but i apparently i purchased this book so i don't have to return it um i haven't even cracked it open at one time i don't plan on using it so i'm probably going to return it anyway because i don't plan on re I don't plan on using it, so I'm gonna return it. I don't need it. Um, and then, like I said, I'm returning this book, and then I have my generalist practice book that I'm gonna return as well. So I just need to get the label. I use check check mostly for all of my books for my 
college career since I've been in my undergrad. So I've been using Check for probably like, I don't even know how many years at this point. Um, I don't have that. For some reason, it keeps saying that I owe these books when I've already returned them. I've been returning those books. Alrighty, so let's head out the door. I do want to go ahead and start packing my car. So I think I'm going to go ahead and try and... So I'm just gonna leave a few shoes out for me to be able to have something to wear for the next couple of days. I have to get my suitcase. All right, I'm about to go ahead to the lobby and see if I can go ahead and print out that packing slip. And then I need to take these books with me outside. And then I'm going to head to Target and Buffalo Exchange. I also need to kind of like look at my trunk and kind of just start making space and planning out how everything's gonna fit because, I mean, I have my back seat too. I have my back seat in my trunk, so I'm sure it'll be fine. book that I'm going to be returning. This book, this book, and this book. Put this in here. Alrighty guys, so I straightened out the trunk, but I ended up finding this ribbon in this metal. If you guys been watching my weekly vlogs, you saw everything that I bought for my uniform. And kind of found out I didn't need to buy this because I was given this. And I have this metal, and I'm trying to figure out how I wear it on my uniform. So, I'm nine times out of ten, I'm going to wear this on my uniform. If I can figure out how to wear it, how to do it, because I'm not about to be out here looking foolish. But I have that. Um, this was given to me. I can't remember when this was given to me, but this was given to me when I was stationed in Vegas by my command out there. So right now I'm about to head out and yeah, so Buffalo Exchange still doesn't open for another 30 minutes. So I'm like, gotta find something to kill time. brings pain when you're no longer involved that person has it all and you just stuck standing there but i'm gonna need you to say something baby say something baby say something say something i'm gonna need you to say something baby i'm gonna need you to say something baby i am the top of your conversation this is celebration Associate the fact that I moved out my mama basement to a kind of downtown Cause it's all about location I sit and drink wine to watch Californication of life You should have been here to kick it with me We could have split this whole thing up 50-50 But now I'm at the 40-40 getting bitches tipsy Killing shit that ever so talented Mr. Ripley How I go from being a man that you argue with To me and Dwayne Carter putting out the hardest shit I should want to go back to the one I started with but I'm addicted to this life, it's gonna be hard to quit Yeah, just ask me how things are coming along You can tell me that you never heard none of my songs Long as you end up saying one day you plan to listen Cause what's a star when it's most important man is missing Hey 
Hey, um, so quick update. I ended up going to Target um, to buy that shirt that got ruined. I think I talked about that earlier. And I ended up getting like a vase and a candle as well while I was in there. And I can show you guys those items when I get back to my room. But right now I'm at Buffalo Exchange. Come to find out, this location, they don't even buy clothes. So they gave me the name of like this other place that's called Clothes Mentor. Never heard of it in my life. Um, but they said they buy clothing. So I was like, all right, sure. So I'm going to go ahead here. That's Frank's pain. Well, you know what I'm getting involved. That person has it all. And you just stop standing there. But I'm going to need you to say something, baby. Say something, baby. Ooh. Good morning, happy Tuesday, peeps. I'm so excited. The week is going. Now we have nine days until graduation. I didn't pick up the camera at all. Is that, am I zoomed in? There you go. I'm heading out the door right now. Um, I'm heading back to clinicals, the treatment facility. I'm actually heading out the door right now. It's my last day at the treatment facility today. Um, this is what I'm wearing, just a cardigan, some pants, and a little button up. Running a little behind schedule, so I just wanted to pop one and say, hey guys, um, I'll see you guys when I get back. Probably, I don't know if I'm gonna pick up the camera or not, but this light right here is causing so much turmoil, but it's blue now. I'll see you guys later. Good afternoon, peeps. It's still, what's today? Monday, Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. Today was our last day at the treatment facility. Tomorrow, we're not gonna be doing much. We have to go back to the schoolhouse. And then starting Thursday, we go to a um, military clinic, outpatient clinic. So that's what we're gonna be doing. So I won't be in civilian clothes anymore. I'll be back in my uniform from Thursday, Friday, into next week, Monday, Tuesday. And we graduate on Thursday. So I'm so excited. Kind of wrapping up this vlog series. Um, and trying to find, kind of think of like what I want to do next. Like what the next thing I want to bring to the channel. Or if I'm going to go ahead and just take a break. And think about like again like what I want to do next. Because I do have a couple of other things going on in my life. So it's been hard for me to like pick up the camera and record. Um, I've picked up a couple other side hustles. In terms of like wanting to get out of debt. Because that is... I'll chat with you guys for a little bit. I've been picking up a couple of other side hustles because one of the goals that I have for me and my husband this year, or me and Leland, if you've been watching, um, this year is to be completely debt free. And I think that's a pretty achievable goal so long as we stay focused on it and work toward it. So that's what we've been doing. So I've been kind of like working overtime, working overdrive, and so has he because that's our goal. So although um youtube is quote unquote an income source as well it's something i do because i enjoy it not because it makes me money so like it doesn't bring me in enough money for me to like for it to support me anyway so yeah um right now i'm about to just watch some youtube and just chill out and then yeah i just wanted to come on camera and say hey guys i have an update I got my hairstylist. Remember, I had a hairstylist back in Georgia. I've been watching. Um, I got her to be willing to do my hair for my wedding. Thank goodness. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go down to her shop, which is about an hour and a half away. So it's a, it's a drive to get to her beauty salon. I'm gonna go in the morning at nine. So that means I probably gotta get on the road at like eight in the morning. Go get my hair done. That's gonna probably take like an hour or so. And then drive back up and I should be back up in Atlanta by 11. I was so stressed out about not having a hairstylist. But now, I got one, so. Whoop, whoop. Yo, my camera broke. I dropped it. Oh my goodness, hold on. Can y'all, let me just post my camera up. <clears throat> and hopefully, it stays okay guys happy what's today wednesday guys i'm crouched down like this because i broke my camera so now i have to have it like kind of like propped up in a way because i dropped it on the floor so the piece that flips the camera is bro child yeah anyway i need new screws basically we're back in our rooms i got our class photo and it looks really nice i only brought one class photo because a lot of them i didn't i didn't really want and 
two, like they were expensive, they were eight dollars a piece or nine dollars a piece. So I only picked up one, and I want everybody, or I want certain people to sign my picture. I definitely, uh, my two friends here, my two friends there, my friend there, and so probably one, two, three, four, five, six, six people I want to sign my photo, and I'm just gonna have them like sign around it. I just need to go buy a sharpie, so I'm gonna go buy a black skinny sharpie so that they can sign it for me. And then I also want to, um, oh, I also printed out my Mother's Day plans. So remember when I was talking about take, planning a trip for my mom? I was able to print out her Mother's Day plan. So here is the card for her. And I'm gonna take this with me because I'm about to head out the door here soon. And I built this itinerary on Canva. I thought it was super, super cute. It does have dates and times and locations so i'm not going to show you the itinerary but just know super cute and then i do have like her hotel information and the directions and then i also have um tickets for her to do the maid of the mist which is really fun so it's one of those um boat rides that you could do under the waterfall so i got that for her so i'm gonna fold it all up and put it in this card i also need to go get some cash out so i'm gonna go cash out so that i can put that in here as well and Mother's Day will be good to go because I'm going to put all of that in the mail. So I'm going to try and go to the post office. Oh, no. Oh, my God.